welcome back to my channel i'm vicky and i love all things fragrance body care beauty and i love a good awe so if that sounds like something you're interested in please hit that subscribe button notification bell so you miss any of my uploads okay uh this video i want to talk about this fragrance journal here okay so i did mention this in my most recent layering combination video so definitely check out the layering video but this fragrance journal okay yeah first of all it is a creation from vania mikhail so thank you to vania for sending this over to me and she was like i have something i've been working on you know i'd love for you to try it and i'm like sure so when i start looking through this i'm like I am seeing the vision here. So, fragrance journal. I'm sure she's talked through this, but I'm gonna probably, there's gonna be overlap. So, more so from someone who would be an end user of her product. So, there are a few different sections in here. So, first of all, first, first of all <laughs> the first one it says my collection so there's a few pages here and they look like this and there's room for you to put your fragrance collection down now let me say this i ain't gonna hold you as soon as i opened to this first page i got a little nervous because i my handwriting is a little on the larger side so i'm gonna figure out how to do this i don't know if i just want to do my travel sprays on these pages but i did count so there are i believe 38 squares on each page so i think there are enough if i want to put my entire collection in here if i can fit it in to the, the squares so we'll see i don't know if i'm gonna do my full collection or my travel sprays I'm still figuring that out. And it also has a caption on the bottom that says fragrances I own. So we love that. And then next there, hold on. <laughs> Try and hide some of this. So next I have my wish list going. So as you can see, Gris Charnel, she needs to be in my collection like yesterday. <laughs> And then I have Fenty on here because if you saw my perfume collection video, you will have saw that my travel spray leaked out. And I also want to try genre perfumes. So I have a few written down there. So we'll we'll get to genre in a minute. I haven't tried genre yet. That's not this isn't about genre. This is about the fragrance wish list pages. So let me turn. So here's a fresh page. And again, at the bottom, every section will have um, different captions at the bottom. So we love a good wish list because, you know, it's like a never ending thing for some of us. And then next here, it's similar, not quite a wish list though, but it's fragrances that I want to smell. So worth a sniff, even though on my wish list, I haven't smelled anything from genre but um some of i haven't smelled the kaiser keys perfumes either which is why it's on here because so i want to try this brand in general and i want to try land of oz and then there's the purple mini i don't want to purchase that without sampling so again the whole worth the sniff so i love that i love how there's enough pages for you to be able to hold on to this for a while to kind of work through since that you are interested in trying out and then i love how it goes straight from what you want to smell you know it's worth the sniff and it goes straight into the sample so you can kind of have your notes down for something that you want to try child find the camera something you want to try and then once you start trying things you can like get the name of it whatever notes you have in here and if you're gonna buy it or get a dupe for it or maybe not necessarily a dupe but something else that's like a similar scent profile so there are 
ample pages for you to go about doing that. And then next, I just said dupe. <laughs> next, she has the section for, it's a dupe. So there is a sample of their Lost Cherry and Not Another Cherry. You can do Eilish, Sweet on the Outside, um, Ensemble Gold, Oriana, Four Marshmallow, Love Don't Be Shy. Um, there's others, okay. All the Baccarat dupes and Baccarat. So there's, there's so many that you can put on here. And honestly, this can help you if you have, so if we go back and you either go back to like your wish list. So if you go back to either your wish list or things you want to smell. So as you're keeping track of that, if you find out something is a dupe, then you can have it on your it's a dupe list. And then you might not have to cough up as much money to expand your fragrance collection. You know, because we love saving coins around here. And then next, I think today this became my favorite part of this book. It's the Project Use It Up. So as you can see, okay, I have been filling this out. So this page here, I have all of the Bath and Body Works creams I have left in my collection. So my goal is to try and get through all of them by the end of the year. So there are 24 in total. So there's 12 on each side. So as you can see, I do write slightly large, but yeah. And I not only, I took inventory of all of the tubes I had like before I turned the camera on. So the next page, I have all of my Victoria's Secret tubes. This doesn't include backups, but I'm pretty sure I went into that box a couple months ago and grabbed all the creams out of there. So if there are any tubes, there's just lotions. And then I have pink. Let's see, pink. These are all the pink lotions I have. And then these two, one of them is a Walmart tube and then one of them is from Hemp's. So those are all the tubes I have left in my collection. I think I have like 43 and my goal is to cut that down by at least half by the end of the year and having them written down here I don't have specific dates you know that I want everything gone by just the back and body works of by 12 31 okay but it also helps me not have to keep looking around to remind myself what do I have now so I have it all written down so I can start um replenishing my use it up box as I start finishing things and seeing this like this helps me be able to map it out better so that I'm adding things that I feel like make sense to wear at the time, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to specifically be reaching for like frost melt, which is like a mint chocolate scent. I probably wouldn't reach for that or moon spiced apple. I probably wouldn't reach for that in July. Probably reach for that later on in the year. I probably reach for more like my coconut scents, pineapple, mango, so on and so forth. So as you can see by all the babbling I'm doing about the project use it up section, <laughs> it's very handy. And then my goal is as I'm able to start downsizing more and getting more things emptied, then I feel like once I get that count to be like under 20, maybe even under 15, I will start using the blank pages that are left to start addressing the rest of the moisturizers I have to see how I can divide and conquer. So then the next section are your dynamic duos. So you can literally, this can be anything. It doesn't just have to be perfumes. Right here, I just have a couple of perfume combos that I love that I definitely can stand behind. So you could do um, perfumes, a perfume and a mist, two mists, um, body oils, if you layer body oils together, shower gel combos, shower gel lotion combos, if for those of you that use your lotions and creams in the shower. So this would be a good um, set of pages to be able to work that out. So I love this. And then the next section we have layering combinations. So it's pretty detailed with 
the products you can put in here and remember you're not limited to like the labeling because i'm sure you can make this work for you so if you have one scrub or two scrubs you use if you use multiple body oils multiple lo lo lotions <laughs> multiple lotions multiple mists multiple oils whatever you can certainly fill this out however you see fit and i think there's just one section left so after so after the combos there are some pages for you to put your thoughts on and really you can chop you want to make this a little journal if you want to like when you spray something a thought that comes to your mind or if you want to start keeping track of fragrance notes or fragrance scent profiles that you're interested in um whatever okay sometimes when you watch like layering videos whether if it's on youtube tiktok instagram pinterest whatever other platform there may be you could probably start writing the stuff down in here um or even i know you could use like the wish list but like if you're doing like a an order for something or like when dua drops there do a drop so you know what's going to be released for that day you could probably start writing down what you want so you can go prepared when it's time to order okay so let me just make sure that those are all the pages before i say that's it so yes those are all of the different sections that are in this fragrance journal definitely something worth checking out i haven't seen anything like this and for someone who enjoys fragrances and sometimes i do need a list of things okay not just because i'm an accountant but you know lists okay give me i'm gonna give you a list i'm gonna check it twice okay <laughs> so yeah i love the concept of this and she said that i think she wants i think vini wants to come out with other other books like this so totally here for it and i cannot wait to see what she comes out with next so super excited for her and her um fragrance journal launch wishing her the best of luck and telling everybody to go and order you a fragrance journal go out and sell her out again so again thank you to vinia i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy your fragrance journals Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video.